at you slipping now. Hey. Look at you slipping now. Hey. Look what I'm whipping now. This is America. Okay. Alright, so we're currently going to the studio tour. I've got an hour to kill. It's only like what midday. It all started when our founder, Mr. Carl Levy, moves his women production company West and opened Universal Pictures on March 15, 1915. You heard me correct. That's over 100 years of movie making on this lot. Over 103 years of movie magic. For example, beautiful examples. A show of hands, like to sing. Anybody like to sing the shower? Well, guess what? You're in the right place because off to your left is Sound Stage 12. That is currently home to NBC's hit singing competition, The Boys, with current coaches Adam Levine, Blake Shelton, Alicia Keys, and Kelly Clarkson, and it's all hosted by Carson Daly. Now, Sound Stage 12 is the largest Sound Stage on the lot. It stands at about 29,000 square feet, but over the years, it's been home to amazing productions and some of the biggest movie sets. For example, take a look. Frankenstein's Lab, Dracula's Castle, Starface's Mansion, as well as Celsius 21 over to your left. Celsius 21 over the years has been up to amazing productions. Right now it's the employee break area and offices of the fictional Cloud 9 Superstore, Tower 21. And where are my Jurassic Park fans at? Yeah! I'm a giant Jurassic Park geek, and instead of 21, that's where a lot of scenes They don't take clean the scene where Lex is feeding the Brachiosaurus. And if you're wondering what Superstar looks like from the inside. Let's have some patience for one another. Yeah, you know, the heat makes us all act. If your face stays where it is, it's going to get pushed. We also are home to game shows like Family Feud with Steve Harvey and Hollywood Game Night with Emmy Award winning Jane Lynch. The game is worth more in Scrabble tiles. Uzo Aduba or David Oyelowo? Uzo Aduba! Another comedy on NBC we're building the comedy department, The Good Place, sorry, Chris. We don't know what it is. Let's continue looking to your left hand side. Those are brand new sound stages. Sound stage 22 and 23. And ever since they constructed the sound stages, we have been busy using them. For example, they're being used for Willie Grace, which came back after years of being off air with the original cast, them, Messi, Big Lolly, Sean Hayes, and Eric McCormick. We've got your fans! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Courthouse Square, otherwise known as El by Robert Zemeckis, starring Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. Now you're probably thinking it looks a little bit different from Back to the Future. Well, that's because the clock tower became so recognizable in the Back to the Future movies that we had to change it up for future productions. Now, the, the clock... And then in Back to the Future Part 2 is Futuristic Hill Valley of 2015 called Not an alternate 1985 for Vince Casino and the Back to Hill Valley of 1955. And ladies and gentlemen, how about we leave this small town of Hill Valley behind? Welcome to the Big Apple of New York! Ladies and gentlemen, this is our New York Street of our metropolitan area. This is where we have our oases, our unblocked theaters. It's heading from 34th Street, uh, 34th Street down to sunny Southern California. Yeah, it's a plane, you want to go on a ship, you're sailing to a lost island, you want to camp monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. We're going to just go on. It's great to have you on the ride. Now, we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet. Just have them in your hand.
Wow, the Night Rider call. Of 2015 a very famous musician made a cameo in Jurassic World. Take a look at your screens. These chubby fingers be crazy. Welcome to Jurassic World. This is we have set pieces, props, and picture cards from our Jurassic Park movies. Take a look to your left. That is a mobile lab the Lost World Jurassic Park. This is where Mom and Pop and T-Rex get mad and push the mobile to have off of the cliff on the island off the coast of Costa Rica. to dangle it off of a cliff using a crane. And that cliff was one of our parking structures here on the front lot. See, movie magic. A demonstration of how we can manipulate weather. Take a look to your left. Ooh, that thunder that you're hearing. Those are speakers uh, hidden into the set. The lightning large arc strobe lights on top of the set out of the camera's view. And ladies and gentlemen, you're probably going to print. Really high tech. It's called sprinklers. We put the sprinklers on top of the pole, shoot the water up into the air, let it naturally fall down to the ground. Just like real rain. And if you have your hand out, it may even feel like real rain. Now, during the black and white film era, they used to add powdered milk or ink to the water. That way, it was a really, truly new. But it is super under wraps. But just know that it's going to be an awesome blockbuster from one of my favorite directors. But right now, they're prepping it. They're Tell you guys what it is. I really truly do, but it is super under wraps. But just know that it's going to be an awesome blockbuster from one of my favorite directors. But right now they're prepping it. They're in any country in the world. All we have to do is change the language on the sides and bam, we have France, we love this movie, Vatican City, or uh, Angels and Demons, the fictional country of Genovia for Princess Iris 2, a royal engagement with Julie Andrews and Anne Hathaway. And also, you might recognize this as the actor by the NBC Zuka. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't risk going to the bad place. <laughs> Maybe it's not all that bad. How can I help you? It's the bad place. The Court of Miracles, there were a lot of movie monsters. Universal movie monsters got their start, like Frankenstein, the Hellfire, the Hunter, the Hunter, the Hunter, the Hunter. Imagine a world with no horror movies. Thank you, Universal. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go out to the market, turn this whole thing down to the full standing time off the list, off to your left, that is the side. One take of one scene takes two, three, four hours, 12 hour minimum days on set, folks. So what they do is they make sure that every shot is in sequence. So for example, if I'm drinking a cup of water in one scene, we have to make sure that the cup of water goes with the scene. So in one second, my glass of water is full and then the other second is completely empty, that way we don't mess up the continuity for you guys. Now 
I know some of you are thinking, Victor, wasn't Emily Island terrorized by a giant man eating shark? Well, we have nothing to worry about, so just sit back, relax, enjoy the view. We have a beer in your hand, take a sip. I have my friend police driver George. Hey, what's up, George? Hey, man. Hope this out, yeah? Oh, no, no, George. Scream if you're okay. Oh, man. George had a lot of guts to be out there. There they are. Okay. Let's go ahead and hide behind the security of the guys. That seems like the right thing to do. I'm not petty. You're petty. Now, George did tell me there's bait attached to that yellow buoy. If he takes the buoy, the we're set. You know where he's at at all times, but he's taking the whole pier. <laughs> oh, now it's really lit. Does anybody have an eye on the shark boat? Are you going here? to go world the Dr. Seuss alive. Two million linear feet of styrofoam were used, enough artificial snow to cover nine football fields. And if you have a sweet tooth like I do, one on excess one of my favorite movies, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, the Bates Motel and the Psycho House up on the hill. We're going to stop for a few seconds so you guys can take some photos and then we'll continue on with this one. And folks, if you look... You're retarded. Uh, hello? Uh, uh. Well, folks, he hasn't noticed us, and if I haven't said anything, y'all haven't said anything. So, oh, no, no, no. What? The set that you're looking at along with 100 tons of debris, that is a real Boeing 747 airplane that was bought just for the production of War of the Worlds. It cost filmmakers $60,000, and that's a steal for a real airplane, but it cost filmmakers $200,000 just to get in here. It's always the shipping and handling that gets here, am I right? And here to tell you a little bit... There we go. My name is Roman Pierce. Pleased to meet you. Buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you from Shaw for a while. He's been brought you in our secret spot. All right, look, guys, we're going to keep Shaw from finding you, but to keep you safe, we need your help. We don't want the syndicate tracking us here, so put away your cameras and turn off your cell Oh, yeah. It was on vibrate. 